everyone, how's it going? Now, I don't know about you, but I'm really excited for the new Netflix show, Godzilla Singular Point. And I want to start drawing some of the different characters, but there's not a lot of pictures of them. Now, luckily, I was able to find a picture of the new Anguirus, and Anguirus is definitely my favorite Godzilla Titan. So I thought it'd be fun to show you guys how to draw the new Anguirus from Godzilla Singular Point. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button if you like these videos and turn on notifications so you can always find out whenever we post a new video here on Artland. So I hope you guys follow along and enjoy this video today. To begin our Godzilla Singular Point Anguirus drawing, we're going to begin with the eyes. I'm going to start right about here and I'm just going to make a little line that's going to curve up and then it's going to come down like this. Right above it, I'm going to make another line that goes up, and then it's going to come down to connect. In here, I'm going to add a small circle for the eye. And right along here, I'm going to add a little line that curves up. I'm also going to add a little black dot in here for the pupil. I'm going to leave some space and I want to add the other eyebrow over here. Starting here, we're going to draw a little line that's going to curve up and down. And I'm going to make a line that's going to curve up and it's going to come and connect right to here. And right here, we're going to make a little line that comes down. And I'll draw a small circle shape for that other eye with a little black dot in there for the pupil. I'm going to make a line that's going to go down and it's going to come right into here. Starting here, we're going to make a line that goes up. It's going to curve down and then come right across here, kind of like a rhino horn. Next, we're going to make a line that goes out and it's going to come down. I'll make a little line that's going to curve right across here and then it's going to come up and I'll make another little line right across there for the lip. I'm going to make a little line that goes down like this and another one right here for the nostrils. We're also going to have a little line that goes up and it's going to travel right up here to the eye. Next I'm going to bring this line back to about here. And then we want to add some of the teeth in here. I'm going to start by adding just a few small teeth in the front. And I'm going to put a big fang right here and then another large one over here. He's also going to have some really big teeth on the side of his mouth as well. Then this is going to curve down. Next, I'm going to make another line that goes down. I'm going to add a tooth that goes like this, little line, another tooth, little line, and one more tooth right there. Next, I'm going to make a line that goes down to here. It'll curve around. There'll be some small teeth right along the bottom here. Then we're going to make this line go up. Over here, I'm going to draw a little line and we'll add some more of those teeth on that side. And right along here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to curve around. I'm going to make a little line that comes down to a point and then it's going to curve around here. I'm going to add some little lines that just curl around here and come up to here. Now starting here, we'll draw a little line and a couple more over here for some details. Starting here, I'm going to make a line that curves out and it's going to come back. I'll draw another one right here that does the same thing, goes out and comes back. One more here, a little bit more pointed. And then another one right here, a little more pointed. They're getting a little bigger too as they come out. I'll make a line that just goes right around the top and then kind of runs into these. Starting here by the eye, I'm going to make a line that goes out and it's going to come back. 
one more here, and then one more right there. Right along here, we're gonna add a few kind of pointed spikes. And they're going to just keep going up until they get up to about here. I'm also gonna add a few more pointed spikes right along here. And then when I get to here, I'm going to add one more and I'm gonna run this into here. And then I'm gonna curve this down to here. I'm also gonna put another row of spikes over here on this side of the head and then just curve it to there. I'm going to put a few more spikes over here. We'll put one more right there. Starting here, we're going to draw a little line. It's going to come out and curve back. And we'll do it a couple more times just for some of those spikes. Draw a little line that curves down. Now, starting right about here, we're going to make a big spike that just goes out and that's going to come back. I'm going to make another one right here. Another really tall one here. We'll make another one over here. Then I'll make one more that comes right out here. Starting here, he's going to have a big spike that goes out and it's going to come back. And then an even bigger one right here. And we'll just kind of connect it down to here. Now over here, he's going to have some more big spikes. I'm going to draw a big spike that goes up and down. Another one here that goes really high up and down. And then one more can go right off the paper. Now, in between these spikes, I'm going to draw a line that goes down, and it's going to come up to this, almost like a diamond shape. And I'm going to do this in each one of these. Just kind of like this big, almost like a diamond shape in here. I'm going to do the same thing over here. And then I'm just going to connect the space in here with these. So draw a little curved line in between each one. Now, starting down here, we're going to make a line that goes down. It's going to come up like this for a spike. I'll make another one starting right underneath it, and then one more starting right back here. I'm going to put one more right here. Then I'm going to add some kind of broken curved lines for the neck here. I'm going to do the same thing over here, just some little details for the neck. Now, starting up here, he's got another kind of big row of like spikes, and these are gonna kind of fill up this whole area here. So what we wanna do is we just wanna kind of start here. We're gonna make a big line that goes up, another one up here, and then one here, kind of three lines for a spike. I'll do another one here, kind of curve it down. We'll put like these three lines in here for the spikes. One that goes down like this. I'll make another one here that goes up, and it'll come down on both sides. We'll do one more over here. Then I'm just going to kind of add some little bit of a curved space in here for some texture. Now I want to start on his leg. So I'm going to draw a line that goes down. I'm going to curve it up and then down here. I'll do the same thing down, curve up and down a few times. I'll do it over here as well. We'll go down, curve it down, and then up to here. One more here, and then we'll do it to here too. Draw some little lines all the way down. Then we're gonna make some little lines that just go up and down just to show 
some like texture on his armor plates. Do the same thing here. Then right along here, we can just add a few more kind of big lines for some big spikes up here. I'm gonna add just kind of like three little rows of lines for spikes. They're gonna be kind of sticking out here. We'll have another big spike kind of comes out here. Then I'll draw another little row for some more spikes there. And here you go. Here is your drawing of your Anguirus from Godzilla Singular Point. He's got a lot of detail to him and he really looks pretty tough. I'm just going to come in here and add a few little extra lines and details. But overall he looks pretty good. I can't wait for this new show to start out so we can see what all these characters really look like. This is just kind of going off some different ideas and just kind of different pictures, but we don't really have full details of what everything looks like. But there you go. If you guys enjoy these videos and you like watching them and like following along, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notifications so you can always be up to date whenever an, a new Artland video comes out. But I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.